Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can create this smoky eye look. All you need for today's tutorial is three products. A pencil liner, best in black, then you will need some sort of dark eyeshadow. If you have a set, use your set or at least one dark grey or black eyeshadow. The darker, the better. And also a mascara. Creating really dark and smoky eyes is actually easier very often than it may seem. Start with your pencil liner and apply it along the line of your lashes, just as you would with normal eyeliner, just to create the initial shape of your, of your liner, taking it a little bit up at the end, just like you would if you tried to create just a normal liner with a flick. And then apply a bit more into the socket line that will create like a V shape and then fill it all in at least halfway through the eye. You don't have to be really precise with that application, it can be a little bit messy. That creates the dark base so you don't have to apply so much eyeshadow uh, which means the color, the darkness will build easier, quicker, less application which means there will be less product dropping on the on your cheeks and underneath your eye. I like to smudge my pencil just with my finger so that's a little bit more blended, taking a little bit upwards into the socket, but then when I'm working in a corner, I like to do movements inwards, making sure that I don't take this line too far out. I then apply my dark eyeshadow, and I try to do it quite quickly, so the pencil I'm using is often waterproof, and if I'm doing relatively quickly, it still is wet and will, uh, shadow will stick to it. So it will work a little bit like a primer, it will create a base for your eyeshadow to have something to stick to. So pat your eyeshadow over the top of that liner, taking over whole lid from your eyelash line all the way to the socket. Now you can use any brush, you can use just a placing brush or even your fluffy brush, although they're not the best for that. But it's really handy to have blending brush, which is bigger, softer brush with longer bristles. That basically helps to get you that smoke out effect on the edges. Keep moving that brush along your socket line from your inner to the outer corner and then just gently um, from the corner of your lashes again to the socket line, creating that V shape and creating that blended soft effect. Uh, once I'm done on the top of my eyelid, I then move into bottom part where I create the line, take it a little bit thicker, make it a bit more dramatic than you normally would. And that's when I use precision brush to apply the eyeshadow on top of that. Just making sure that it's over the line and then a little bit out, creating again that smudged look. Once you're done, you can again repeat your liner just along the lash line for a little bit more intensity. Finish off with your mascara of choice. I'm here using falsies. Um, I only recently tried this mascara. I'm not too convinced of it yet. Uh, I quite like generally with smoky eye, quite full on volumizing mascara. Probably a little bit more than this one. And once you're done, you may want to put um, just final touches, so I like to make sure that I finish off the inner corner of my eye with the liner, that I add a little bit of highlighter or a lighter eyeshadow, maybe a little bit as well, underneath my eyebrow arch, just to sort of finish off that look. And that's it, so really creating smoky eyes doesn't have to be difficult, just remember to create a base with your dark eyeliner, and that really helps because application that of your eyeshadow is much quicker, there's less fallout so you don't have to tidy up that much and you can actually create that look very very quickly. Um, you don't need a lot of products and really it is easier than it seems so give it a go and if you do make sure you tag me in your pictures on Instagram, on Facebook or even on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at socialbeautify and that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video.